All right, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, back for video number four in the series of uh, Vue.js authentication with Auth0, Making Life Easy. Um, that's the new subtitle, Making Life Easy. In the first video, I did an overview. Second video, I did a project outline. Third one, I started installing things. So let's go back to that project outline and talk about where we're at. So um, I started installing and did these three steps in the last video. And now in this video, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to add Beautify framework, and then I'm going to do my first push to the GitHub repository. Once we get that done, then we'll be all set up to move forward and start working with Auth0 to um, to build an application. So uh, to build a you know a protected portion of the uh, of the application. So let's get started. Step four: We're going to create a new view project. Um, I'm going to start by going to Viewify because Viewify is works on top of View, but they have a great get started um, steps that tells you what to do. So we already did this in the last video. Installed npm install view at cli minus g. We did that in the last video. And so now the next thing to do is just to simply use uh, the view the view command line tool to create an app. So we're going to do view create and then the name of our app. So let me open up my, my editor here. This is Visual Studio Code. It's free. You can just download it. Just search for Visual Studio Code and uh, you'll be able to download it for free. So I have already opened up a terminal by going to terminal, new terminal, and um, I, I've already changed into the directory of where I want to put this project. So that would be your tasks to do as well. And now we are going to type, I can't even remember, view create and the name of the app. So view create and the name of this app we'll call view auth0. It does not have to match our GitHub repository. It's just a folder name at this point. So that opens up a, um, a um, I went a little fast there. I, I decided to manually select the features. That opens up this uh, pr you know, configuration tool. And so it's interactive. I'm just pressing spacebar to change things. I do want to use Babel. That's going to allow me to use new JavaScript code and it'll backpile back it. Is that a word? Um, compile it back to old JavaScript. So we're going to use ES6 and we can, um, you know, compile it back to old JavaScript that, uh, that can't necessarily do a lot of the new functionality, um, uh, you know, natively. So I also want to add the router in Vuex because I said that was going to be a part of this project. These I always put these in view, view projects. I wouldn't do a view project without either of these. Otherwise, it's basically a view web, a view web page. Uh, unless you're integrating it into another project, then you might not need them. Uh, I am not a big fan of linting at this point, so um, I am not going to turn that on right now. And all the other stuff we don't really need. CSS preprocessors, we could install it. It lets us use uh, you know, um, SAS or less, uh, if you know anything about those. Progressive web app support would be if we wanted to uh, really optimize the download time. Um, such that we only load quote pages or actually components, we lazy load them. We get them from the server as uh, as we need them in a progressive one. If uh, if we don't do the progressive, then we download the entire app, all the web pages and everything all in one shot. So I'm fine with doing that right now. And TypeScript is a whole nother level um, that's really awesome, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. So I'll hit enter to move on. And so do we want to use history mode for the router? That's an absolute yes. That's so that we can have pretty URLs. I'll talk about that later. And then um, do we want to have um, config files, you know, dedicated config files? Absolutely, I want to dedicated config files. I don't want to have all my, my package JSON get any uglier. So we'll use dedicated config files. And that's it. No, I don't want to save this as a preset. So I'm going to move forward and it is going to go ahead and start building out scaffolding that project for us. So this takes about uh, three or four minutes. I'll be back when it is finished doing its work. All right, we're back. For you, that was pretty instantaneous. For me, that was uh, maybe four minutes. Didn't look at the clock. You can you can go back and look at the clock and fill it in for me. So um, 
here we are back. This finished up installing. Now remember, we only installed Vue so far, and Vue is a fantastic framework, but um, we want to make things look a little prettier. So Vue gave us the install we did was for Vue. We haven't gotten to Vueify yet, so we could uh, start doing this stuff um, and see what we've got here. Actually, why don't we do? It? Go ahead and do it. I will run. Uh, I'll cd Vue auth zero because. Uh, Vueify is going to tell us to cd into that directory that we just created anyway. So we'll do that. Now we're in there and we'll run npm run serve. And so that's going to take a few minutes to build, maybe a minute. So I am going to pause and come back when that's done. All right, that was actually really quick. So I can control click on that. That'll open it up in a new window and so we have a view app here so um, nothing too special it's actually got uh, uh, looks like it's got some routing going it's got the this is what I was talking about with the pretty URLs instead of having a, um, a question mark like that for each route you have you just have the slash whatever the route is so much more SEO friendly so this is the basic view install but now we want to turn it into a view to install to make it uh, easier to do pretty things like, um, well, the, I think the easiest thing to talk about would be a, um, oh shoot, where is it? A, um, what am I looking for? You know, stuff like exp expansion panels. I'm getting too deep here, but all this stuff, it makes your life so much easier to use this type of stuff. I'm looking for um, dialogues. So this would be like a, if you've ever used uh, Bootstrap, that type of deal. All this is done for you. You don't have to write the code to have this thing pop up and um, you know do the animation and all that stuff. It's just you you use their framework to, to do that. So we'll talk about that a um, little bit too far probably of a, um, a, a deviation here. So let's get back on track. Um, let's get back to that get started. And so what they want us to do next is to type view add beautify. So I'm going to kill my, my uh, server here. And I am going to type view add beautify. And so that's going to do some work. And uh, it'll it'll do some work for a few minutes and then come back and ask me a question. So I'll um, I'll pause until that happens. All right, Beautify did some of its work and now it's asking what it wants me to do here. Um, I choose a preset. I am going to go with just the default preset. I'm not, I haven't really used Prototype or the Advanced uh, yet. I'm thinking the Rapid Development gives you more of a, a default install of a website, but I uh, haven't looked too much into that. So I'm just going to um, do the default, and um, it's going to come back with with a pretty simple website. So, but we'll see that the the website has changed from the view front end that we had to um, uh, you know, to view to fi. So we'll see that when we come back. All right, that only took another couple seconds past me talking, and then it spit out all this stuff. Uh, it says it successfully invoked the generator for plugin, so um, it's done this, and then it went and, and wrote over some of our stuff. So view to fi does write over some of your files. And so now if we run npm run serve, same as we did last time, we're going to get a totally different website. This time it's going to be a Beautify website. So while that's building, I'm going to pause again. All right, we are built and we have our development server running again. So I'll control click that again. And that is going to open up over here, I guess. And so now the website has changed. We're still at the local host 8080, but things are different. We are now running Beautify. So we're running something that's going to make it easier to make things pretty. That's what Beautify does for us. So now I'm going to go back to the development environment. Um, I will show you the files I have to reopen, but it's going to show my internal file structure, which I don't want to do. So um, I'm just going to kill this server. And then I'm going to reopen the project. We'll see that I'll be back in this directory, but uh, I don't know why the files don't load without uh, clicking this open folder. Why it's, it should know that I'm in there, but I guess this thing is separate from the terminal. So um, I'm going to do that, but I don't want to show my internal structure, so I'll be back when that is done. All right, so I loaded up 
the app now in, uh, in, in here, you can see we're still at the view auth zero, the, the same directory that we were before, except now the files show up here. So I just opened up the files over here and navigated to where they were. Um, and you can see that the uh, um, view to phi has taken over. So here's that view to phi. If I change this to view to phi x, um, I have to run the server again, uh, npm run serve. And again, I'm going to pause while that builds, and I'll come back, and I'll show you how, how it changed the, the website. All right, that finished up. Let's open up again to the browser. Um, here it is again. So let's take a look. Where did I make that change? Let's go back here. Let's get rid of that. That was the original things that didn't reload. Let's get into the code and see what did... Oh, I didn't save the file. That's why. So, um, you know, this is... Let's get back here. This is what it was. So I'm going to change this to, to Vutify Hello. And now I'll save the file. And that is actually going to hot reload on the front end. And uh, there it goes. It, it, it recompiled and, and reloaded. So that's the what the tooling did for us. That's what using Vue CLI 3 did for us, was it built out all of this stuff um, and also did the webpack for us which does that hot ro reloading feature. And it also gives us all that stuff that uh, allows us to do, you know, this the NPN run this, this server and, and the NPN run, run build when we end up doing a build. Um, you know, all that functionality was given to us by Vue CLI 3. We didn't have to figure out how to do all that stuff on our own. So you'll see me get into all that stuff as uh, we move forward in the project. So let's take a look back at our to-do list and see where we're at. Um, we created the new project. We added Beautify. So now we've got to push our project to the Git repository. So if you recall a few videos ago, uh, maybe it was the last video actually, we created this GitHub repository. And so now we've got to implement it. And so they give us uh, some, some training here to tell us what to do. We are going to skip this, this, and this, because this was done for us by Vutify. We have our project built, we have our README file, and it's already done. It's a knit. Um, so if we look at our file structure, um, we have our, um, you know, our git ignore file going and, and um, our, our README file already. So this has been built into a git repository, and we can tell that by um, opening up another terminal here. And if I type git status, Oops, you got to type the right command, git status. Uh, we can see that we've already got um, some git stuff going on here. We're on branch master already. So we're, we're in a project here. We don't need to initialize a git. If, if I typed git status I, and, and I didn't have a project running, I would get an error back. So if I cd'd back to, making this a long video, but if I was here and I wrote git status, where I'm not in a repository, it says, you know, you're not in a git repository. So I'll go back into that directory and uh, now my git status will work and show us where we're at. These red files are our new changes uh, that have been installed since the last commit. Um, and I'm, I'm betting this is the Vutify changes uh, from the initial. So now we have to set up our repository to, to send it to the GitHub repository. Remember, we pulled, you know, we pulled from, well, we didn't do a pull. We did a, the view CLI 3. The view, view did a pull for us from a repository and got us this. Um, so now we're going to push it up to our own repository. And so that's pretty simple. We just do, um, let's see here. We need to add our remote. So git, oops, I'm on the wrong screen, git remote. Add origin, and that's going to be our uh, GitHub repository link. So put that there. That's simple. And now we can do git push. Um, and I, th I think this will give us an error. We have to set the upstream. So Git push, set upstream, origin, master. That'll get us our first push. And then from now on, we'll just be able to press to type git push. 
So that actually pushed that up to the repository. I'm already logged in. If you weren't logged in, you'd get, um, it'd ask for your GitHub username and password, which you could just type in. And then there's ways to get it to remember that as well. So if we do go back to the GitHub repository and uh, let's take a look at it, you can see it's now initialized. So this is our, uh, what we just did. And so we should see this beautify hello in our repository if we go into the source and I think it was the app view that we changed. Uh, no, it was not. What did we change? We changed the, we did change the app view, beautify hell. You know what I didn't do was commit the changes. That's why my changes aren't there. The initial download was there. So let's go ahead and do a uh, git, because we, if we do git status, I've still got those, those modified files. So what we're looking at here um, in, Right here, we're looking at that that Viewify. Remember, it had the, the router uh, links at the top and then um, some view stuff. So I haven't, as far as this thing that is concerned, I haven't done the upgrade So to, to Viewify. So let's do git add star. That's going to add all my files. Now if I do git status, all my files are now green, which means they're staged. So now we'll do git commit minus M uh, and the message will be that we um, added view to or installed beautify added beautify so now that that's committed uh, now we'll do a git push that's going to send it up to the repository and so that's done now we should see this beautify hello in the app dot view so we should see it changed um, I keep going to the wrong window there. I apologize for that. So let's go back to the, 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 the main repository. And now that we've see that we've got two commits, it's showing me the latest commit now. And so if I go into source now and I look at app.view, now I'm seeing my Viewify hello. So now we're seeing what we saw on the, uh, the local, the local development server, um, stuff. So my changes are there. And realize this is a public project, so you know anybody could come to this link right here, and they could view my project, and and you would see what what I'm seeing right now. It's all instantaneous, which is pretty awesome. I mean, welcome to the cloud. Um, so let's go back here, take a look. Looks like we did those three things that I said I was going to do. Absolutely amazing. I'm proud of myself. Hopefully that was all understandable. I know it's all pretty quick, but all this stuff you can go and figure out elsewhere. Uh, I just wanted to give a little background. Next thing is is the big thing is getting started and actually building the app. So this is where the fun starts in the next videos. Uh, maybe one more boring video as we build out a few initial pages, but then we'll start getting into the coding as far as building out Auth0 and protecting those pages, these private pages that we're going to set up. So again, Terry Caliendo, dedicated managers. This is us right here. Technology consulting is what we do if you need any help with anything. Feel free to give us a call if you need a uh, help. You know, if you just need a, a little bit of help, feel free to comment in the YouTube videos. I'll try and get back to you. If you're looking for some professional help, definitely give us a call. Or if you need a project, help with a project or somebody to take over a project for you. If you're uh, you're not a coder and you're watching these videos for some reason, um, you know, we'd we'd love to help you out. So just click on that contact button and that'll tell you how to get a hold of us, uh, either through the 800 number or um, uh, email or uh, a fill-in form. And then finally, please do subscribe to our YouTube video channel. Um, let's see, where is the, uh, nope, that's not what I want. Let me get the dedicated managers page up here. I guess I would just need to click home for that. So there it is, dedicated managers. Here's our YouTube current look and feel. Um, 69 subscribers trying to grow that up to 100. Would love to see you subscribe. Please click that button when you have a chance and follow us. And that way you can keep up to date on all these videos as they come out. I'm right now building this one, the Vue.js authentication one. Uh, I still got this one going. Some stuff left to do here, a Vue WordPress. I'm sorry, that's not a Vue. It's a WordPress project using Oxygen uh, Builder. Uh, I love Oxygen Builder. It's a fantastic tool. And then this thing I did a while ago. Um, I went nuts on 53 videos documenting a uh, real-time database that I was building. So subscribe, follow, appreciate it. 
See you soon. Talk to you in the next video.